And we have a new WBO Cruiserweight Champion. Christoph Glowatsky knocks out Marco Hook in the 11th round. This was a great fight. Both guys tasted the canvas. Glowatsky was down from a left hook in the 6th round. And Marco Hook was down twice in the 11th and stopped. It was a typical Marco Hook performance, really. He gave everything. Marco Hook always comes to fight. He always puts on a good show, or nearly always. And this was... Typical him, really. Typical captain. Captain Hook. <laughs> but in the end, the captain was man overboard. The ship sank and he ended up drowning. He gave it all he got. Now, I don't want to make no excuses for the captain. But this was the first time he's fought outside of Germany. If not for his whole career, then the first time for a very, very long time. And obviously, the time difference between Germany and the United States where he was fighting is huge. And normally he's used to fighting six, seven hours before this. So there could have been an element of jet lag. There, there has to be an element of jet lag. If you're not used to fighting at that time and it's your first time ever doing it or your first time for a very, very long time, that has to affect you somehow. I don't wanna, I don't wanna take nothing away from Glowatsky. And maybe Marco Hook wasn't affected at all by jet lag. Maybe I'm completely wrong about that, but that's just the feeling I get that you have to suffer from it a little bit, especially when it's your first time. So it was a great fight anyway. Back and forth action. The left hook that put Glowatsky down in the six was a great shot that hurt him pretty badly. He did well to recover from that. And he plugged away. Glowatsky's an undefeated fighter, by the way, people, if you ain't seen him before. He's a Southpaw Polish cruiserweight. And he looked pretty decent in there. He boxed a good fight. It was close all the way. Uh, Marco Hook, as usual, fights in spurts. Okay. But he seemed very fatigued. He's, he's been fatigued many times in fights. All right. This guy's been in so many wars. So he's used to dealing with fatigue. But he seemed fatigued, particularly in the second half of the fight. Really fighting in spurts. And giving it everything he had. He wasn't trying to conserve any energy. It's like he really wanted to put on a show over there in the United States on PBC but it kind of backfired on him because he was putting literally everything every ounce of energy he had he was putting into every attack and Glowatsky took advantage of that in the 11th round and caught Hook with some shots managed to put him down Hook got up but he was really spent and Glowatsky put more shots together and down Hook went again and the referee waved it off Really, really disappointed for Marco Hook because he was hoping to make a run at heavyweight after this. He was hoping to possibly get a fight with Vladimir Klitschko, maybe a fight with Deontay Wilder. And, you know, a Wilder fight may have been viable if he came through this because they were obviously looking to match Wilder against, I mean, name or position that isn't Vladimir Klitschko, put it that way. So, unfortunate for him, but Glowatsky looks to have a bright future possibly he's the new WBO cruiserweight champion let me know how you felt about this performance people did you expect this had you seen Glowaski before this is my first time watching him so obviously I didn't expect I didn't know what to expect I'd never seen the guy before but let me know what you thought about the fight and the performances and where both fighters go from here it's happening I'm out